of August 29, 2016. Welcome back to Tartessa News Network for, for the 2016-17 school year. It is our first episode of the year. Now please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. The U.S. National Park Service celebrated its 100th birthday last week. The National Park Service was established on August 25, 1916. At the time, there were, only ne there were only 10 national parks in the U.S., the first one being Yellowstone that was established 40 years prior. In the past 100 years, 49 parks have been added to that list for a total of 59 national parks. Here in Arizona, we have three national parks, Saguaro, Petrified Forest, and the Grand Canyon. The Grand Canyon is the second most visited national park in the country with about 4.7 million people coming to see it each year. Ms. Burton is here with a special announcement. Good morning, Tartasso students and staff. Welcome back to the 2016-2017 school year. I'm very excited um, for this new year. There's a lot of exciting things going on. Um, this week, um, today actually, is a soccer game, so please come support your friends. Um, Wednesday night is Peter Piper night, and we are going to have a contest just like last year, and the class that has the most participation will get a pizza party. So please come from 4 to 7 at the Peter Piper on Watson. On Thursday, we have a volleyball game, so please come to the gym to support your friends. And we also have picture day, so please remember to bring money if you are planning on getting pictures. Fridays, I hope you've enjoyed our positivity store. Um, you are able to pick free prizes if your teacher picks you from your homeroom class. Two students will be picked every week for good behavior, for um, doing well on tests and things like that. So please make sure your behavior is on point. Make sure you're listening to your teachers and let's have a great week. Now let's go over to Nick with sports. Welcome to Sports News. My name is Nick. The Olympics just finished up last week. The U.S. finished with 121 medals. China finished with second is with 70. And Great Britain came in third with 67. The Diamondbacks had a big come from behind a win last week as they beat the Atlanta Braves at home 9-8. They are struggling this season, though they are currently sitting in last place in their division. With 52 wins and 73 losses, see you next week for more sports news. Thanks, Nick. Look, now let's go over to Kiki with <laughs> Hey, welcome to Science Time. My name is Keegan. Scientists exploring the Pacific Ocean over the past couple of weeks found this little guy, and since he, then he has been shared all over the internet. No, this is not some real-life Pokemon. It has been called the googly-eyed squid. While it is not a new species discovery, it is the most it is one of the best videos and picture captures ever. They tend to hang out on the ocean floor burying themselves in the sand. While being called a squid or an octopus, it is actually neither. It is called most co closely related to the cuttlefish. If you want to see more creatures like this, be sure to check out the live video feed from the EV Nautilus as it explores the Pacific. Thanks, Keegan. Let's go over to Damien with Tech. Welcome to Tech Tip. My name is Damien. In the past, we have told you things you could do with your Chromebook. This year, we we are going to talk about tips on keeping you, you safe online. Devices change, but the internet is accessible from all types of devices. It is important for us to know how to be safe. This week, Tech Tip. The internet is big. I mean, really big. All of us should be familiar with Google, but we don't really know about all the tools built into it. Many times in school, we are tasked with finding new relevant to the top topics we are learning about. Next time, instead of going straight to google.com, try and go to news.google.com and then search by topic. You will find news stories that are just minutes old. Thanks, Damien. Now let's go over to Madison with our club news. Welcome to club news. My name is Madison. No real club news yet, but I do want to remind you that club starts 
up next week. Remember, there is no transportation need provided. So you will either have to walk home or get a ride. There are lots of great things going on after school, so get involved. And if a club you want is filled up, don't get discouraged. Try something different and try again for the next semester. Next up is Garland and Samantha with Entertainment News. Welcome back to Entertainment News. My name is Scarlett. And my name is Samantha. Coming September 9th, Sully rated PG-13 in the true story about an airplane pilot that landed an airplane in the Hudson River, successfully saving the lives of 155 people on board the plane. September is a big month for concerts here in Phoenix area. Big names like Demi Lovato, Nick Jonas, Five Seconds of Summer, Fifth Harmony, Drake, and Luke Bryan will all be performing this month around the valley. See you next time. Back to you guys. Thanks, ladies. And now we're going to go to this fun talk trivia with Ben. Welcome to Fun Fact Trivia. My name is Ben. You have three facts. Guess which one is right within 10 seconds. Is it A, Japan monkeys have learned how to use coins to buy things from a vending machine, or B, there are two species of flying spiders that can only be found in Australia, or C, butterflies taste with um, the tips of their wings. You have 10 seconds, guess which one. You guessed A, you're correct. Come back next week to see some more fun fact trivia. Thanks, Ben. Next up is Joke of the Week with Emma and Joey. <laughs> Hello, my name is Emma. And Joey. Welcome to Joke of the Week. This week, uh, the joke will be what stays in the corner but travels all over the world. I don't know. What? A stamp. If you have a joke, that you would like to tell on the news, please have your teacher go to this link and put your name in. We will love to have you on. That's all for this week. Uh, we'll see you next Tuesday. Let's go Tigers!